Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. So today everyone, I am gonna make a pitch cobbler for my kids. Uh, it's been a while since uh, they have pitch cobbler and since I have a pitch that was in a can, I decided to make them a nice treat from uh, after school. So if you're new to our channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button below and also hit that bell, that way you will get notification whenever I upload a new videos. If you are a returning subscribers, thank you, thank you so much for joining here with me today as I make this pitch cobbler. All the ingredients, everyone, is listed down below in the description. So if you need the exact uh, measurement, just go check out on my description down below. So what we're going to need is this pitch right here. I'm using the canned pitch, but you can use fresh. This is one pound of pitch. I have sugar, flour milk, melted butter, salt, vanilla extract, cinnamon, cornstarch, and you, I'm going to be using my 9 by 13 pan as well. So let's get started. Alright everyone, using my medium skillet, I love using my iron skillet, I'm going to go ahead and add my peach. I'm just going to kind of caramelize or cook this for like five minutes <clears throat> I'm gonna try it my way guys then I'm gonna add my vanilla and my cinnamon I'm gonna add my cinnamon guys and then uh just mix it. Now let's add our sugar. There are different way to cook or to make a cobbler, but I want to try this way see if I like it. So I'm gonna bring this to boil everyone and then uh, I'm gonna add my cornstarch when it starts boiling. So now everyone while waiting for my uh, what is this for my uh, well waiting for my peach to cook or to caramelize a little bit I'm gonna in this little bowl I'm gonna go ahead and put my my butter my milk and my flour so I'm gonna put my flour and my milk oops Now I'm gonna mix this. I'm gonna add a little bit of my butter. I didn't add all my butter yet. So just keep mixing until all the lump is done, everyone. Okay, so I'm going to add the rest of the butter and mix it. So 
So now I'm going to put this aside and then uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do next. All right, everyone. <clears throat> my pitch is starting to boil, so you can see. So now I'm going to add my cornstarch. That way it will be, you will thicken it a little bit. But if you don't want the cornstarch, it's fine. This is just my. <clears throat> it will thicken the sauce just a little bit. And everyone, just to be honest with you, this is my first cobbler. And I'm excited. <clears throat> this is Lexi's favorite. So. Alright everyone, this is this has been boiling for almost a minute now since I added the cornstarch. Before I added the cornstarch, I just bring it to boil and I let it boil for about two minutes. And uh, that way the sugar, uh, the cinnamon, the vanilla, and the peach will have uh, time to incorporate. Then I add the cornstarch. And now this has been boiling for almost a minute now. So, as you can see, the sauce is a little bit thicker now. So I'm going to let this boil for two minutes. And then turn the heat up off and then proceed to the next step all right guys this has been boiling for two minutes so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna turn off my heat and then <clears throat> show you the next step to make this um pitch cobbler and everyone before i forget i did i forgot to add the the salt so on the butter so go ahead and add your salt I completely forgot about it so just mix it everyone if you have any dessert recipe that you want me to make uh, don't forget to message me or contact me through email and I would be happy to make it. All right, now I'm gonna put this aside. All right, this is, as you can see everyone, I put butter on this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour my peach in this one. It has to be careful because it's really, really hot. So I'm going to pour my peach. And by the way, everyone, my oven is preheated at 375 degrees. And it has been preheating for a long time now. <clears throat> Alright everyone, now I'm going to pour the butter on the top of this. So hopefully this will turn out real good guys. Now I'm going to bake this for uh, one hour at 375. So I'll be back everyone. Guys, that's how my peach gobbler and they're ready to be baked. So now I'm going to put this in the oven and bake for one hour. I'm excited everyone. Very, very excited. 
All right, this is take three because I cannot speak. All right, my peach cobbler is done, everyone. It looks good, but it's just too juicy, I think. I don't know. But anyway, this is my first time making it. And as long as it tastes good, I think that's wonderful. So I will let you all know how it tastes when my taster is uh, done eating it. Thank you for watching, everyone. And don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comments down below. Bye bye. You don't have a fork. What do you think, babe? It's good. I need a little work on the crust, maybe white sugar across the top. And it would be perfect. There you go, Char Char. Thank there you. Yours. Yes, be careful. That's my cobbler expert, guys. She said I need practice. But it doesn't taste awful. No. I'm still eating it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm glad. I'm glad. And this is how much we have left, everyone. <laughs> it wasn't bad. But I need to make an adjustment. I need to put sugar, sprinkle sugar before I bake it.